Good morning again, friends, and welcome to our daily devotional. This is a continuation of our study yesterday in the book of Isaiah, but this morning I would like us to focus on the book of Isaiah 58, verse 12 alone. Let us read together. Isaiah 58, verse 12 says, For those among you shall build the old waste places, you shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the streets to dwell in. Before we move forward, we want to explore what the word meaning breach is. In the English dictionary, breach means an act of breaking or failing to observe the law. It is an or agreement or code of conduct anything that that you know that a person failed to obey this that's a breach on the other hand the Bible also says that breach is an opening of a wall in 1st Kings 11 verse 27 and 2nd Kings 12 verse 5 the fracture of a limb Leviticus 24 verse 20 and hence the expression of healing Basically, God wanted us to restore the covenant we have made with Him. It says here, Father, it says here that you shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You see, again, in this context, there was an issue here, a deeper issue, because they need, they need a restoration because that's what they were lacking. A restoration of both physical and spiritual. You see, the failure of, of practicing a sincere religion had resulted to a need of revival. It's very important, friends. Each church needs to have a revival because that's what we need in this last day, a sincere religion. You see, reformation must begin by remembering the true Sabbath. It is a commitment that we need to honor His day. You see, a chasm had grown because people were not spending quality time in communion with God. They said, you know what? That's just a Sabbath day. We can worship God any day. Friends, that's a danger there. When you try to have that mentality, you know what? Sabbath for me is every day. Then we are shutting down the creation story or the history behind the creation. See, God made a Sabbath. It's a special day and He hallowed it. You see, we need to spend quality time, a good communion with Him, or living according to His law. You see, streets to dwell in says here also that the call continues for those who will choose to honor God and return in the right path in the way they live their lives. Alan G. White made a really powerful quote here. Let me read it with you. As the end approaches, I want you to meditate on this one and listen. The testimonies of God's servant will become more decided and more powerful, flushing the light of truth upon the systems of error and oppression that have so long held the supremacy. The Lord has sent us messages for this time to establish Christianity upon an internal basis and all who believe present truth must stand not in their own wisdom, but in God, and raise up the foundations of many generations. This will be registered in the books of heaven as the repairer of the breach, the restorers of paths to dwell in. We are to maintain the truth because it is the truth in the face of bitterest opposition. Let me repeat this. Friends, we are to maintain the truth because it is the truth. You see, temptations will come upon us. Iniquity abounds where you least expected it. Dark chapters will open that 
are most terrible to weigh down the soul, but we need not fail nor be discouraged while we know that the bow of promise is above the throne of God. We shall be subject to heavy trials, oppositions, bereavement, affliction, but we know that Jesus passed through all this, and these experiences are valuable to us. The advantages are not by any means confined to the short life. They reach into eternal ages. As we near the close of this earth's history, we advance more and more rapidly in Christian growth, or we retrograde just as decidedly. Oh friends, Reformation again must begin in remembering the Sabbath, the true Sabbath. And this only can be achieved when we go through a deeper understanding of what really means or what it really means to keep the Sabbath. To keep the Sabbath. You see, God set the Sabbath apart from any other days. What we can do from other days, friends, you can do it in other days. Don't make a reason like, you know what, I'll take a Sabbath off because I want to celebrate it by myself. Think about it again. God just asked for a specific, a specific day that He wants to commune with you. Give it to Him. We have to celebrate the Creator God, the God of the Sabbath together. And let us make the Sabbath a delight. Tomorrow we'll continue to study Isaiah 58, 13 and 14 on how to honor God and why Sabbath should be a delight. Again, friends, take care for today and God bless you.